बिस्मिल्लाम असल वरम वर्क फर्दर टू कंटिन्यू विदिंग ऑफ द कुरान टूडे विदेज बेस्टोड ऑन मी बैदानी डी कोड द लेटर्स अलीफ लाम मीम एंड शो यू वॉट एक्चुअली दे आर फर्स्ट लेटर्स नो वॉट अलीफ लाम मीम इज दीज आर कंसिडर्ड एज मिस्टीरियस लेटर्स एंड नोन एज मुखत्तात मीनिंग ब्रोकन लेटर्स आर डिस्जाइंट लेटर्स मैं एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ सम ऑफ द चैप्टर्स इन कुरान टू बी प्रिसाइज देर आर ट्वेंटी नाइन चैप्टर्स विच स्टार विद दीज ब्रोकन लेटर्स देर आर मेनी स्पेक्यूलेशन एग्जिस्ट रिलेटेड टू देम बट नो बडी नोज एग्जैक्टली वॉट दे आर द चैप्टर नंबर सेवेंटीन वर्स नंबर वन जीरो सिक्स एंड चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव वर्स नंबर थर्टी टू स्टेज दैट We have revealed this Quran in chapters and parts so that you will understand it properly. This indicate that each surah represents a chapter, and the starting letters mentioned at the beginning of these chapters are the headings of these chapters. I have shown you in previous presentations that the Quran contains the scientific knowledge. Based on this, we can understand the details of these chapters after deciphering. Based on the details mentioned in these chapters, we can understand the meaning of these broken letters. With this information, now let us start decoding them. First, let us decode the letters alif, lam, mim. Here, one should read the alif along with lam. The combination of these two represents English alphabet L. Yes, it represents the English letters. Please recall that I have shown in one of my previous presentations. Quran deciphered that the word Quran stands for the QR and the Quran is a QR code for the other scriptures. Now let us decipher other letters. The letter Mim represents the English alphabet E. Similarly, the Arabic letter Ra represents the English alphabet R. Ha represents H. Sin represents C. Sad represents S. Ta represents T. Noon represents N and half represents Q, respectively. With this knowledge, now let us understand what the combination of these letters indicates. The combination of alif, lam, and mim represents L E. Now let us write this above the letters alif, lam, mim in Quran and see what we get. This is not correct, as the English and Arabic letters are written in the opposite directions. To make it correct, as you can see in this slide, the L E has to be written in the reverse direction. Then, if we take a selfie of this or focus to a mirror, you will get the L E letters in the right direction. This indicates that English is a mirror image of Arabic. This also indicates that if we decode all the letters and reproduce a mirror image of it, there is a possibility of seeing the Arabic Quran basically written in English language. Now let us continue with the other letters. The alif, lam, ra represents L R. Ha mim represents H E. Alif, lam, mim, sad represents L E S. Alif, lam, mim, ra represents L E R. Ta ha represents T H. Ta sin represents T C. Ta sin mim represents T C E. And ya sin represents Y C respectively. As mentioned earlier these starting letters are the headings of the respective chapters in fact these are the abbreviations of the headings of that particular chapter based on the content of that particular chapter we can understand what the full form of these abbreviations is based on the contents of the chapter number 2 bakhra we can understand that the letters le represents the light elements or light emission In addition this chapter also explains about the evolution of life therefore le also stands for life evolution this means to say that a single chapter may deals with multiple topics this is the reason why the headings of the chapters are mentioned in the form of abbreviations similarly lr stands for light radiation or life restoration he stands for helium N stands for nitrogen, L E R stands for land expansion and reduction, and the T H stands for the hydrogen or the hydrogen respectively. Instead of explaining like this, let me show you this in the form of table 
for all the 29 chapters which are having these abbreviations. First, let me group them according to their headings. Chapter number 2, Aliflamim, L-E, Light Emission, Life Evolution. This chapter is about light and its elements, planets, earth layers, life evolution, etc. It also explains about the linear equation. Chapter number 3 and chapter number 29, Aliflamim, L-E, Light Emission, Life Evolution. Chapter number 30, Aliflamim, L-E, Light Emission, Life Evolution. This chapter is about the elements and movement of the tectonic plates due to convection currents caused by the elements. Chapter number 31, Aliflamim, L-E, Light Emission, Life Evolution. This chapter is about the elements, parent and daughter isotopes, rising mantle plumes and movement of the tectonic plates, nuclear chain reaction, subduction of tectonic plates. Chapter number 32, Aliflamim, L-E, Light Emission, Life Evolution. This chapter is about the evolution of the earth and its layers, subduction and abduction. Chapter number 10, Aliflamra, L-R, Light Radiation, Life Restoration. Chapter number 11, Aliflamra, L-R, Light Radiation, Life Restoration. This chapter is related to the extinction of life and restoration of new species. Chapter number 12, Aliflamra, L-R, Light Radiation, Life Restoration. This chapter is about the Pluto and migration of the family of Jacob from Canaan to Egypt representing the migration of organisms. More details are there in my previous presentation, Story of Joseph, History of Pluto. Chapter number 14, Aliflamra, LR, Light Radiation, Life Restoration. Chapter number 15, Aliflamra, LR, Light Radiation, Life Restoration. This chapter is about creation of the universe and galaxies. Chapter number 7, Aliflam Meme Saat, L-E-S, Life Evolution, Extinction Sequence. Chapter number 13, Aliflam Meme Ra, L-E-R, Land Expansion and Reduction. Chapter number 40, 41, 43, 44, 45, 46. Ha Meme, H-E, it's related to Helium. Chapter number 42, Ha Meme, Ein Seen Half, H-E, I-C-Q. It's related to helium, but it to decipher what is ICQ. Chapter number 20, Taha, TH, the hydrogen, the hadian, also about the thorium. Chapter number 26, Tasin meme, TCE, the crustal evolution. Chapter number 28, Tasin meme, TCE, the crustal evolution. It's also about the Cretaceous era. Chapter number 27, Tasin, TC, the Cenozoic, the continents, the creation. This chapter is about the Cenozoic, glaciations, separation of Arabia, reassembling of continents in future. Chapter number 38, Saad, S, Sulphur. Chapter number 68, Noon, N, Nitrogen. Chapter number 50, Half, Q, Quaternary, Hyama or Hyamath. This is about the end days, that is Hyama, which will come at the end of quaternary. Chapter number 36, Yasin, AC, Arabian continent, afterward creation. Chapter number 19, Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Saad, K, H, A, I, S, Hes. The meaning of Hes is seeking refuge, humble, beautiful. All these meanings suit this chapter, which is about the story of Mary and Jesus. All this information indicates that there is no correct ordered arrangement exists in the present form of Quran according to the specific topics. Therefore, it is necessary to rearrange or restructure the chapters to get a clear understanding of the events of the formation of the earth and life. The chapter number 25, verse number 32 mentions that Allah has revealed this Quran according to a sequence. Therefore, we have to arrange it according to the sequence from the origin of the earth to the destruction of the earth which replicate the formation of the universe. 
As mentioned earlier, the chapter number 2 deals with the light emission and the verse number 2 talks about the phi which is related to the magnetic flux and wave functions in physics and in mathematics it represents the golden ratio. The verse number 2 states that this is the book, there is no doubt about it, a guide for those mindful of Allah. If we decipher this and read properly, it translates as Fi is the book, a guidance for the God conscious element. Further, the verse number 2 to 20 is about the dark matter and later verses about the fusion reaction. According to the chapter number 34, verse number 3, the smallest elementary particle is Zor, which we have not yet discovered. All this information and the contents of my previous presentations indicate that the Quran contains the scientific knowledge and each chapter contains the information of various topics. Also, the same words can be applied to understand different phenomena. This is the reason why Allah has challenged to bring a chapter like this as mentioned in the chapter number 10 verse number 38 which states that if you are alleging that this Quran is written by Prophet himself then bring one chapter like this and take anybody's help other than Allah. Before sharing an important information, let me tell you that the Hadean, Cretaceous, Cenozoic and Quaternary mentioned earlier are all different time periods known as era in the geological history of the earth as you can see in this slide. The six days of the formation of the earth mentioned in various verses represents the six time periods known as era of the geological time scale. Today, let me correct an error that the people are unknowingly committing. Few people are falsely reading the chapter number 18 Al-Kahf on Fridays thinking that the Prophet Muhammad had told them to read it. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad told people to read the surah number 50 Kaf but people are mistakenly reading the incorrect surah. The surah number 18, Al-Kaf, is related to different topics, whereas the surah number 50, Khaf, explains about the Khyama, which comes at the end of Quaternary. It explains about the events that will take place during the end times. It reminds us to be faithful, perform good deeds, and practice namaz to get the Jannah, the heaven. Therefore, it was advised by the Prophet Muhammad to read the surah number 50, half. Therefore, it is relevant to read the chapter number 50, not the chapter number 18. All this information implies that the religion is not different than science and science is not different than religion. They go hand in hand and they are intertwined. The deciphering of entire Quran is time consuming but the events are occurring rapidly. Therefore, I request the science and religious scholars to join hands with me to decipher the Quran and other scriptures within a reasonable time before the beginning of the Qiyamah and spread the true knowledge of Allah to protect the human race. This is my honest interpretation of the scriptures but the true knowledge lies with the Allah alone. All praises to Allah alone. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar!